guys, Shauna Lindeman, and I am from McBride's Pride 4-H Club, and I am an active member of the 2021 Youth Council. I have been in 4-H for eight years, plus a couple more before that in Clover Kids. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about the county fair. I have been doing the county fair for all my eight years of 4-H, plus Clover Kids. You might wonder, what is the county fair? At the county fair, you are able to showcase your projects, like photography, nutrition, sewing, etc., your livestock animals, and even get entered into contests when you're older. Three things that you need to remember to be successful at the county fair is learn how to be patient, persistent, and learn how to set good goals. You need to be patient and persistent because not every year are you just going to go and win and be first place all the time. You need to remember that not everyone is going to be a winner and even if you that doesn't happen you can't give up and you're going to want to keep trying every year. That This is also how you learn and grow as a person and it's taught me many many things and I'm grateful for that. And lastly you need to be able to set good goals because I assume that you're going to be working hard on all your projects before fair so you're going to need to be able to make and set goals in order to have a quality project by county fair and also get it done by county fair. One of my favorite memories from county fair is honestly just meeting my friends. I have had some of my friends for eight years that have been in 4-H and to this day I still talk to them and communicate with them because honestly fair friends are the best friends. So I encourage you to Make one or two projects next year and take them to the county fair just to get the experience and get out there and have a good time with your family and your friends. Mm -hmm.